Yum, yum! Uh, here we are. We are in Affinity Photo. <clears throat> I've got some, or I got two alphas I'm going to do some adjustments on so I have a better alpha to use in ZBrush. All right. This is nothing that's too complicated to do in just about any image editing program. So there's nothing really special here about uh, using Affinity Photo. It's just the one I've decided to use. I don't have any Adobe stuff on my system right now. So this is the one I've got. So the original alpha is just too uh, vertical. What I wanted to do is get a curve on this so it fits around the eye sockets a little bit better. And this is really just probably the simplest way to do it. To get some warping and get it in a nice position. If you look over at the uh, layers panel, I've got a little black box I just checked. Uh, I'll be able to save this out. And then I work down the next one. Same thing. I put this warp on it. And I want to get this so it's going to work with the lips a little bit better. Uh, vertical is just not uh, getting it for me. I wanted to have this have a little bit of a curve, a little bit of a taper into the center like that. Right there, there's that black plug I got in the back. That was way too big right there. Uh, let's see. I think I canceled it out. I wanted to go in and make the details fade a little bit. There's just too many there. So just use some level adjustments to get uh, a little bit less detail. No need for it. Won't pick it up. Okay, now we are uh, back into ZBrush. I had, I believe I missed out on the actual sculpting of those wrinkles around the eye. But what I'm doing right now, you see I've got the uh, Morph brush, and I'm going back to my zero point on the eyes. I thought uh, <clears throat> those scale on the cheeks right there were coming up too close into the eye. I wanted to leave those a little cleaner. All right, so uh, if you have your morph target set in con or a, a good strategic spot or a good strategic time, they can really help uh, working on details. All right, so now I'm going to go back and put those details in. That's just a little too strong, so I'm backing off the intensity a little bit. Yeah, that's about right. Matches in pretty well. So I'm just kind of cruising around, seeing how things look. Making sure I didn't miss too many spots. Okay, that's about right. <clears throat> Alright, now see, that's where I used the alpha at the beginning of this uh, video. The curves there were just a lot easier to do after I set up the alpha correctly. All right, here we go. Let's see. I'm just kind of looking things around a little bit. We've got some of those lip wrinkles in, and I need to go get that file. Where was it at? There it is. Well, I think I passed it. Yep, there. Going with a taper. I gotta get this set up right. Now I'm recording some layers so I can have an option to kind of turn it off. But that's kind of what I did. Uh, I kind of save you the gory details and open it up here in Keyshot so you can see what's happening along that lip area. Really, these are just details that the normal maps are going to be picking up. Okay, we're well here. You're going to see me making some of these lips just a little bit more. I'm kind of uh, going a little bit slow with it. I don't want to do too much all at once. Kind of build up a little bit at a time works a little bit better for my workflow. Kind of doing just a little bit of an inflate, trying to be careful with what I've got going on here. As you see, I've masked some of this out. 
with the mask by smoothness if you look over on the right hand side you'll see they're open right there it says mask by smoothness that's how I got that alpha mask right there to find all the crevices and using the range and fall off over there you can really get a lot of variety I've got another uh, small tutorial showing you how I kind of arrange that up coming here soon I might be able to do that this weekend right now I'm just kind of playing with my brush Okay, now I'm just kind of getting ready to start looking things, bring over to Keyshot, see how that detail is showing up. Yeah, it's not too bad. Again, I, uh, the displacement map will hardly pick those little details up, but the, dip, uh, the normal map will. Things are starting to get ready. I think I'll move away from the face and start working on the eyes or the antennas next. All right. Thanks a lot. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Yum, yum.